Folks, the holidays are coming. The Christmas hat's on. Thank you to Pimp My EV for sending me this. But we have a lot of Tesla accessories I'm gonna show you today. I have about 12 accessories, high quality. Some of these I've shown before, some of them are brand new, but all high quality with great pricing, starting with the Model 3 and Model Y center console hub. Now, everything I show in this video will be linked in the description. Some of them will have a discount code. Some of them will have Amazon links. I'll have it all down there so it's easy for you to navigate. So this center console hub is incredible and it's for all of the refresh models. So this doesn't fit my 2020 Model Y, but we're in a 21 Model 3. So this fits the Model 3 and the Model Y. And it's very simple. It has these two USB-A ports down below that you plug in and draw power from. Once that's plugged in, you actually get a reading on the screen. We'll go ahead and pull off. There we go. There we go, baby. Here's what I really like. Again, Vion, I've been working with these guys for like three years now. Check this right here. There's a little tiny pad here to help reduce rattling or anything like that. So it fits really flush. It looks like an OEM piece. If someone didn't know better, they would get in your car and go, oh, this is a cool feature because it looks like it came from the factory. Now to get it in, you have to kind of put it at an angle like this, and then you just slide it into position. Boom. It sits flush. You tap that. And look, I mean, it just fits perfectly. So you have two USB-A's and then you have this 27 watt high power delivery. You actually have to have a cable that's capable of handling this and I can help you out with that. Vion also improved this charging cable. So it's actually designed after the Tesla wall connector. It's very sleek and what I love about it, it has this 90 degree L shape. So if you have it plugged into the back of your car or if you're plugging it in here to the charging center console hub, it has a nice click and pop when it goes in. Let's see what kind of watts we're gonna pull here. What kind of pull are we gonna do? Boom, we're juicing up. You can see actually the little lightning bolt there giving us signal that we are charging. It also has LED, it says type C connection. So I think this is really cool. This Vion charging cable also has an LED light which rotates through a bunch of different colors that looks awesome at night and lets you locate it easily if it's very dark out. The next items I'm gonna show you are two different phone mounts. These are very popular. These will cater to two different people. It just reminded me the one time when I was in sales, I was cold calling, it was in 100 dial week. You had to make 100 cold calls a day. And I called a lady and she said, why should I do business with you? And I said, I will cater myself to you, whatever she needs. What I meant was like, I'll, whatever your needs are, I will cater to that. But I said, I'll cater myself to her. And I pictured like my head coming on a silver platter. But anyways, I'm gonna show you the difference between these two phone holders, again, linked in the description. This will have a discount code. This will just be an Amazon link. See what we got here, baby. Again, what I really like about Vion stuff is a lot of their colors go with the interior of the Tesla. So this is rubberized here. You can see nice rubber material to get you a tight fitment and not have any jitters or anything like that. This bulb is plastic here. And then we have the magnetic card holder. So this is a magnetic phone holder that we'll be installing here. So let's... Yeah. <laughs> Now, the Spigen one is double the cost, but does it bring you double the value? That's always the question, right? So we're gonna get this mounted up. This is a charger as well as a phone mount. Sticky adhesive here, and then a nice silicon USB-C charging cable to provide power to this. Let's see how it works. All right, so here's what I really like about this charging hub is the fact that you're able to set it here and either have it to the left of the screen or through this locking mechanism, you can loosen it up and have it directly above your screen and then kind of rotate it out of the way. Now, what I don't like about this specific one is the fact that it, it does have a cable on it. I'm more someone, if I just wanna sit my phone somewhere and not have it charge, it kind of bothers me when it's always charging if it's at like 99% and doesn't actually need it. So you can see how it fits there. And then for me in my 2020 model, I'd run this USB-C cable underneath here to actually get power to it. So we have it installed there. As you can see, I ran the cable straight down here and then tucked it into the side of these chargers here. It'll be a little different for newer models. It's actually a very clean look. And what I like about it hovering above the screen is while you're driving, you can actually clearly see everything on your phone. You will also not be blocking the air conditioning coming out of here and your phone is charging. So I think that is a really clean look. And also if you want, like I said, 
you can leave it on there, lock it up, and then it's sitting at this angle as well. So you can do vertical and horizontal while the phone is charging. I think this is a really clean accessory. Despite it having a cable, I'm not a big fan of having the cables, but you can see it's minimalistic, hides behind the screen, falls down the cracks here, so you don't really have to look at it. So a very nice phone holder with charging. Now let's look at the Vion phone holder without charging. This phone holder, much simpler and half the cost, and it's actually a genius design here. So you notice these little legs that come down here with the hook. So this actually goes down into these slots, which I've never even looked at. And this is why I love Vion, because they make like the simplest designs, like very, like just genius, simple designs here. So, okay. So what you have to do is you have to press it down and then push left a little bit so it hooks. So when I pull up, it doesn't come out. Then I take this little knob here, spin it so it locks down. And again, there's some rubber on the bottom of here that I showed you earlier so that locks in here very solid. Look how solid that is. Now, if your phone does not have a magnetic card holder or anything like that, it comes with one that you can put right on your phone. So this is actually for your phone if you don't have that. Now, I have a mag back case. And again, this is something I'll have linked in the description. I love this case, but it's already built in here. So my phone, it already works with it automatically. And again, this is half the cost. It's very clear over here. You're able to see your phone and you're able to toggle and move it around vertical, horizontal. If it's not far enough left, you can shift it left. You can put it over on that side of the car. This is a great value, but it just lacks the charging component, but it's half the cost. So they both can go vertical and horizontal. They're in slightly different locations. This charges, this doesn't. You can just see the difference between the two. Both high quality products. It's going to be for two different consumers, but either way, this kind of helps you. You're shopping on the internet. You're looking for phone holders. There's 6,000 of them. I get it. It's hard. These are both high quality products. You're going to get these, be excited. You're not going to be swapping them out because one breaks or whatever. I will also say Vion, as far as customer service goes, is excellent. I've been working with them for three years. If something has gone wrong in an order, if there's a miscommunication, I've always said, reach out to me if you can't get a hold of the partner, but they've always taken care of people. When there's miscommunications, they handle it right away. And that's why I heavily value their products and love when they come out with new ones, because I know you as the end user are gonna be happy with the service that you get. So those are the two phone holders that I really like right now. But now for you dog lovers or a place to just store your kids, let's look at something for the back seat. This pet liner is designed specifically for the Model Y, 3, and S. It does not currently fit the Model X. So what they did is they used breathable quilted fleece material and no other third-party brands use this quality of material. They just use regular woven fabric. Only Tesla official pet liners use this material, but they sell them for $145, whereas this is only $69. They also include a storage bag and two door protectors. So what I like about this is you can easily store it in your sub compartment in the back there. We'll open it up and take a look. And this is what they're talking about with those materials. Little installation guide. My favorite thing here is this mesh area. So your dog or if you, uh, I don't know if people bring their cats around the things, I guess they do. He loves to sit here and get his paws up on the center console and look out the front. So he'll still have a window here to look through and the air conditioning. They cut this low enough so the air flows through and still gives your dog, cat, alligator, ostrich, whatever, air into the back seats. Installation is simple, it just hooks up. This is nicer material than the bed that I sleep on, but that's how most people are. They take care of their pets more than themselves. They'll take their dogs to the dentist before they will take themselves to the dentist. I mean, society is totally, I mean, we're totally gone and that's okay. But they also, like I said, for $69, this is all included. I mean, there's even slits here. So if you want to belt your dog in, you can do that. You have these door protectors here, which slide in, go into place perfectly. Boom. Look at that. I mean, this is a, I can't believe this is only $69 to be honest with you. And then if you use my code, you save another 10% free shipping order, or even if you don't have a dog, just order it to have it. I mean, this is really, really nice. The the carrying case, everything, the material, nicer than the bed you sleep on, you're really gonna enjoy this. Or I guess your dog would enjoy it.
Now I've been running these pedal covers for a while now. I absolutely love how they look and they will be linked in the description. But if you want a more traditional look, we can go with these. Boom, we're beefed up, baby, <clears throat> beefy. So those are what those pedals look like. And actually what you could do to clamp them down even more, it comes with this pack of screws. So these clamp down to make it be trapped on there. This was the easiest install for pedal covers that I've ever done. You can see that the rear of these ones, you have to fit the edges of the pedal inside with these flaps. Slightly harder to install these, but I do like the clean black look. But if you wanna look like Guy Fieri ate here and you want that beefy stainless steel look with these rubberized sport tips, I think this is a great look as well. Two quality options. Now summer's over, but these deals are just heating up. This Vion Sunshade, this seems to be the best one that I've tested because of how rigid it is and how tight they keep it with no sag around the edges. This is another product from them that I highly recommend. But some more back seat activity will lead us to these seat back covers and these are from PimpMyEV.com. I have another seat back cover because I've shown these a million times, almost like a suede Alcantara look and it looks very nice. It looks OEM quality, but maybe you want something a little bit more and that's where this next piece comes in. Whoops, didn't realize there were two in there, but here you go. These are from DEDC gives you three separate pockets here, which is really nice, basically wide enough to fit like an iPad or even a larger tablet that way. So let's go ahead and put these on so that way you can see them side by side. Again, nice and soft material. It's almost like a carbon fiber look here and just gives you a little bit more storage along with the red stitching, which is nice. Now, what I love about this and, and the other one as well is this flap right here tucks into the back of the seat and installation is incredibly easy. So this kind of weights it down and makes it look again, like it came like this from the factory. So you slide it behind the seat, tuck in the material, kind of run your hand along it there and just chase it down the edge and then it goes on. So once you have this top piece fitted and centered, you can see it looks again, like an OEM piece. I don't want any junk hanging out of my car and look, making it look bad. So this is nice how it tucks in and fits perfectly. To get the front part installed, I just slid the seat all the way forward. That way it gave me the angle I needed to get it perfectly tucked in and brought around the edges here. Boom, there you go. That, I just, I love that it's a simple, oh my God, just had Jersey mics. I love that it's a simple, clean look there, fits cleanly across the backs of the seats. The final part that you need to do are you take these hooks under here and then you anchor them to a part that's like a hard piece of plastic or metal that's under the seat and then that locks in the bottom portion. So I don't know why this is in my head, but I'm like, JG Wentworth, 877 cash now. <clears throat> I still don't feel great, I'm almost over it. 877 cash now. So there you go, there's a clean look at it. See how deep these pockets are. iPhone 14 Pro goes cleanly in the back there. Again, this just gives you a few more options as opposed to only having the one pocket solution over here on this look. So there's a look at them side by side. Again, this can be purchased on Amazon. I'll have it linked down in the description. And this is from pimpmyev.com. But DEDC is who designed this since 2013, it says right there. So. Yeah, they did a really nice job with this product. It's very clean looking, it's well priced, and it gives you another option. Now I'm gonna show you this dashboard sunshade mat. And if you made it this far in the video, leave a comment below as to what your favorite accessory was in this video. And I'm gonna give away two $50 gift cards to Vion.com. Don't tell anyone, it's gonna be quiet because you've put in the effort to get this far in the video. So I wanna reward two of you. This cover here is gonna reduce the heat that's being taken in to this dash. It's also gonna give it some protection from UV wear. Try to help it not wear down as much over time. Oh, okay, okay, ooh. So we got these little rubberized dots on one side of it to kind of keep it in place. And on the other side, it's kind of a suede look there. Look at that, huh? Feels like a shit. All right, so installation here is incredibly hard. Fitment is perfection. Across the top. Ah. So yeah, the dash cover, obviously easy to install. I feel like this could help some of the uh, sound quality in the car so it's not as echoey. Going to reduce glare, Andrew just brought this up, that the glare sometimes that you get uh, from the sun coming directly in off the windshield, it should reduce that as well. But again, just another unique accessory, kind of a high quality product that I hadn't seen before that I really like. 
Real quick on the back of the car here, this is a matte carbon fiber spoiler from T-Parts. It's $295. After you use my discount code, it's $265. The fitment is incredible, and it kind of matches the OEM look to it. It's not sticking up off the car. It looks like garbage. This is a really clean look. It's well-priced, and it fits better than the OEM piece. The OEM spoiler is eight to $900. This one is a fraction of that, and I've literally sold hundreds of these already, and everyone loves them. So T-Parts is another solid company, and I've just been waiting for someone to produce a product like this. And again, this will be linked in the description. Now another thing, and I feel like a broken record at this point, but the best floor mats for your Tesla are from 3dmatsusa.com. Again, I've been partnered with them since the beginning of owning my Tesla. They're excellent. This is the Elatech design here. It has this design in the middle. The Kagu is just this plain design all over. So that's the difference between those two. And you can see that it is bold. So if you go skiing or you go hiking and you're all muddy and you get back in the car and that all melts down, that's going to stay within this and these are easily able to wash off. Additionally, you have the Max Spider technology. This is what separates these. Not only do they fit incredibly well, this acts like Velcro, but doesn't fray the carpet in your car. So it really sticks to the back and gives you great protection. So your actual car's carpet looks like it does the first day you got it. In addition to that, they have their Premier Series. These are significantly more expensive than these ones, but they add a lot more. You still get this rubber down here because there's gonna be a heavy traffic area with you going back and forth between the gas and the brake down here. But the lush, lush carpet, again, nicer than the carpet you have in your house, and it actually traps a lot of dust. And additionally, it's still bold, so it gives you all that protection. But if you want a carpet look, that's what to go with. Now, I've talked to several people in real life, IRL, and they've said, hey, I watched your video and I know you always talked about 3D mats. I went and bought a cheap set on Amazon. I ended up hating them and I ended up buying 3D mats. So I just don't want you to go out and waste your money on something You're like, oh, but I can save 50 bucks. I know, but overall for the long term, this is what you're going to want to have. So spend the extra money up front. I have a little discount code in the description, that should help. But again, high quality product. A lot of YouTubers will say this. I even spoke to another, I don't wanna say any names, but um, I spoke to another YouTuber recently and he's like, yeah, people just don't believe me. I'm, I'm like, I don't promote any other floor mats because I truly believe that these are the best. These gives you the best fitment and they're actually a, a full real company. So they have customer support. If something goes wrong, they'll be able to help you. 3D mats is excellent. Now these two products kind of go hand in hand. A lot of people have single car garage or one car is parked inside, the other car is outside, or their Tesla is just parked outside. So you're gonna need this cable protector. So you're plugged in the garage and when the garage closes, it's not crushing your cable. So that's a great product. But additionally, you have this from Spigen, which organizes your Tesla charging cable when it's plugged into a NEMA 1450. I'm gonna show you how that looks. Now, this is specifically designed for the Tesla charging cable as far as the thickness goes. So it's able to sit flush and the cable is able to move loosely underneath it. That's what's great about it. It's also the easiest accessory I've ever installed because you take it out of the box and you sit it on the ground. So install, very easy. So this is a typical setup in the garage here because you have the NEMA 1450 plug. Now, normally we would be putting this part into the wall because you could then mount this box right here because it would sit flush. But because this is actually not recessed into the wall and sits out, we won't even need this part of the product. So we're gonna put that away and we're gonna get this installed. Now, this is specifically designed for the Tesla NACS plug. So we're gonna mount this onto the wall, should be very easy and gives us the ability to wrap the cable around it. Very nice looking product. <laughs> you like my pilot hole, don't you? I can't wait to see comments of people saying nice, nice like whatever they say. I'm a contractor. Bet your shit's not this flush. <laughs> The end result here is a great, it's very simplistic, minimalistic look. Again, it's built specifically for the Tesla plug. Plugs right in. And I also forgot how much I like how thin the Tesla cable is. So this is a great solution for your NEMA 1450 garage setup.
Now that you've seen all these unique Tesla accessories, you're going to want to see how to clean the exterior of your car, and that's why you're going to want to click this video right here showing you exactly what to use and how to clean the exterior of your Tesla if you want to do it by hand as well as the interior.